The question 11 says that the figure shows a set of equipotential surfaces. The magnitude and direction of electric field that exists in the region is. Dear students, in the direction of electric field, the potential decreases and in the direction opposite to the electric field, the potential increases. Which means that the electric field would be directed in this direction and that will be minus I cap. We can also conclude this because equipotential surfaces are perpendicular to the electric field. Now dear students, the electric field can be calculated using the gradient of the potential difference. Herein, a difference of 20 volt is achieved in a distance of 10 centimeters, which is 10 into 10 is to the power minus 2. Therefore, the electric field is 200 newton per coulomb or we can also write volt per meter. The final electric field in the vectorial form can be written as 200 minus I cap volt per meter and therefore option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed and solve the question number 12. Question 12 says that figure shows the variation of electric field intensity with distance x. The potential difference between the points x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5 meters is. Dear students, area of electric field position graph can help us in finding out the potential difference. Actually, the area of electric field position graph is negative of the potential difference between the final point and the initial point. Let us try to find out the area of this particular curve. Now, dear students, the area of this square would be equal to 10 into 2. The area of this triangular portion would be equal to half into 10 into 1. For this triangular portion, it will be half into 10 into 1 again. And for this rectangular portion, it will be 10 into 1. When adding up, we get a value of 40 volts. And therefore, option number 1 is the correct answer. Dear students, now let us proceed to the further question of the test, which is question number 13. Question number 13 says a large number of particles, each having electric charge 1 microcoulomb, are placed at x is equal to 1 meter, 2 meter, 4 meter, 8 meter, and so on. The electric potential at x is equal to 0 is. Dear students, the electric potential due to a single charge is equal to kq by r. The net potential can be written as summation of electric potential due to each charge, which will be equal to k. 10 raised to power minus 6 that is the charge divided by 1 plus k 10 raised to power minus 6 by 2 plus k 10 raised to power minus 6 by 4 and so on. This will be equal to k into 10 raised to power minus 6 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on. Dear student, this is an infinite converging GP for which the summation is equal to 2. The final answer will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into k that is 9 into 10 to the power 9 which will be equal to 18 kilo volts and hence option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number 14. Question number 14 says that two point charges QA and QB are placed in a uniform electric field E at points A and B respectively. The position vector of A is RA and that of B is RB. If VRA and VRB be the electric potentials at point A and B due to the external field E, then potential energy of the system is. Dear students, the potential energy here is composed of two factors, that is the potential due to the external field and the interactive potential energy between these charges. Due to the external electric field, the potentials when multiplied by the charges at the points where the potential is known, gives the potential energy or due to the external electric field. That is, one portion of the potential energy will be QA multiplied by VRA plus QB multiplied by V. RB. Now, dear student, the electrostatic potential energy due to the interaction of these two charges would be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught QA QB RAB. Therefore, for this question, option number 3 is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 15. Question 15 says, 5 capacitors are connected in series as shown in the figure with a battery of 20 volts and a point B is earth. The potential at point A is. 
Dear students, in this question, all the five capacitors are in series. Therefore, the net capacitance will be equal to the capacitance of each capacitor divided by 5 because all these capacitors are identical. So, the C by 5 is the net capacitance. The charge on any capacitor can be written to be equal to 20 that is the potential difference multiplied by the capacitance that will be equal to 4C. Dear student, the potential across any capacitor therefore would be equal to the charge of that capacitor divided by the capacitance of that capacitor that will be equal to 4C by C that will be equal to 4 volts. Therefore, for across every capacitor a 4 volt potential difference is attained. As we move from B to A, there are 3 capacitors therefore 4 into 3 that is 12 volts of potential difference would be observed. And since the potential of B is 0 on the condition of being grounded, the potential of A should be equal to 12 volts which means option number 4 for this question is the correct answer. Now dear students, let us proceed to the question number 16.